Hi, welcome back to the power of model drawing. And uh, today we are going to continue with comparison model. And we are going to revise the elements used in model drawing. And we are going to draw out and visualize the word problem. Now the questions will get uh, slightly harder. Uh, but again, we don't have to worry because your job, okay, your job is to, to draw out the sentences, right? Using all the the knowledge, right, the information that is given to you and you try to draw out the sentences. So let's look at guided example one. Now, Katie has 538 stamps, Linda has 82 fewer stamps than Katie, Andy has 70 more stamps than Linda. How many stamps do they have all together? Now, when I see fewer than or lesser than or what shorter than, I will think of comparison model. So how do we begin the drawing? You always start from the first sentence. So KT, you draw a rectangle for KT and, and put the number into the boxes or into the box. So KT has 538 stamps and Linda has 82 fuel. All right, so Linda is going to have a shorter rectangle. So I'm going to draw all right, something like this and Linda has 82 fuel. So that is your comparison model that we have learned last lesson. All right, and if you keep reading, there's a third person. Andy has 70 more than Linda. All right, now, how do I draw Andy's rectangle? Do I draw like this? If Andy has 70 more, then where is that 70 more? If you look carefully, the 70 more will be inside here, right? 70 more, which is the longer parts, right? The longer part is 70 more. Right? So it doesn't make sense because you can see that your 70 is, is, it looks like it's bigger than 82, but it's supposed to be smaller than 82, right? So which means that when you draw in this rectangle, your rectangle has to be shorter, shorter than Katie's rectangle. It has to be something like this, right, Kate? So Andy has 70 more than Linda. And if you study the model carefully, you can also see that Katie has more than Andy. Why? Because Katie's rectangle is the longest, right? If I draw a dotted line, you can compare the three rectangles and you can see who has the longest and who has the shortest rectangle. All right, so keep reading. How many stamps do they have all together? So the question mark is over here. And if your model is fantastic, you don't need to look at the question. So let's study the model and what do we do next? Now, you can find Linda's, uh, you can find Linda's rectangle, right? So how many stamps does Linda have? You take 538, right? Minus 82, and you will get Linda's rectangle. And that will give you 456. So Linda has 456. Okay, now, can you see that you have actually two equal parts right over here? Can you see two equal parts? And you call them units. Remember, in the last lesson, uh, when you have equal parts, you call them units, right? You have two equal units. Okay, but we are not going to put any units inside because we have something more precious than the units. We have the actual number, right? Okay, so now you can see that Andy has how many stamps? Andy has 456 and plus 70, right? and Andy will have 526 times. Now, whatever numbers you have found, whatever answers you have found, you may want to add on to your model by drawing the arrow sign. So Andy has 526. So now you can see Katie has so many, Linda has so many, and Andy has also so many. So can we find the, the total? Yes, we can. So you take Katie, which is 538 plus Linda, which is 456 plus Andy, which is 526. All right, so once again, we are not going to do the working because we want to focus on the model drawing. So you add all the three numbers together and you should get all together, which is 1,520 stamps. So they have 1520 stamps all together and you have solved the problem, all right? So you can see that in the guide example one, what did we use to solve the problem? We draw the comparison model. And this time you have three person. So you have three rectangles for these three persons. Okay, let's go to guide example two. And let's reinforce what we have learned. There are 295 Malays at the food court. The number of Chinese is 97 fewer than 
the number of Malays. So when I see fewer than, immediately I will think of comparison model. There are 89 more Indians than Chinese. So find the total number of Chinese and Indians at the food court. All right. Now, let's say if this is, a, this is an exam problem and I don't know how to do, but don't worry. Right, in the exam, if you are not sure, you always think about the methods. So what is the best method for this problem? Model drawing. All right, so now you know that you must use model. Then how do you apply this method? You draw out the sentences. So let's look at the first sentence. And uh, let's draw the Malay. Right, the Malays. How do we draw the rectangle for the Malays? You draw a box, a rectangle, and you put the number 295 into the rectangle. All right, that's the first sentence already. And the Chinese is 97 fewer. So which means that the Chinese has a shorter rectangle, which is 97 fewer. So you have fewer Chinese, so shorter rectangle. All right, so that is your second sentence. Then how do you draw the next sentence? There are 89 more Indians than Chinese. All right, so how should the rectangle for the Indians be like? Uh, should it be the longest? If I draw the longest, what happened? Then which means that the 89 more Indians will be here, right? 89 more. And if you look carefully, your 89 is supposed to be smaller than 97, right? 97 is supposed to be bigger. But, but it seems like your, the, the rectangle for the 89, it seems like if you look carefully, let me just use something to highlight. If you look at this 89, which is so long, and you compare with this 97, which is shorter, it doesn't make sense. So which means that you have drawn your rectangle for the Indians wrongly. So what should you do? So you have to adjust, okay, readjust your model. So which means that uh, your Indians, right, the rectangle for the Indians has to be shorter than the Malays. Am I correct? So where do you put the 89 more? 89 more should be like this. Ah, now it makes more sense. Okay, and as a result, you can also see something. What can you see? You can see that you actually have two equal parts here. And in our last lesson, what do we call the two equal parts? You call them units, right? Okay, but we are not going to put the units inside because we have something more important than the units, which you will see later. All right, so keep reading. Find the total number of Chinese and Indians. So that is your question mark, which is only for two groups, not for all the groups. Okay, now if your model is fantastic, you can look at the model and solve it. So can you find how many Chinese there are? You take the Malays, 295 minus 97. All right, why? Why do you minus? Because you are finding the shorter rectangle for the Chinese. So when you're finding the shorter rectangle, you have to minus. So 295 minus 97, and you have 198 Chinese. All right, and can you see that you have two equal boxes, which is highlighted in blue? So over here will also be 198. And now can you find how many Indians? So you just add 198 plus 89, and what do you, what do you get? You will get 287 Indians. And there you go, right? You can see that. And uh, why did I not put the units? Why did I not put the units inside the boxes, in the blue boxes? Because you have something more important than the units. You have the actual numbers. So we don't need to have the units in the model, right? All right, so you have 295 Malays, you have 198 Chinese, and you have 287 Indians. So you can find the total number of Chinese and Indians. So you take the Indians, plus the Chinese. And you will get the total number. And your answer will be 485 Indians and Chinese. And if you have found the answer already, what do you do? Add on to the model, right? So put the answer beside the question mark in the model. And there you go. And that's how you work out the answer by visualizing the problem. All right? OK, now let's go to the practice problem. And this time, I would like you to try on your own and uh, read the problem and try to visualize it. And how do you visualize it? It's not to see the model in your mind. 
right? But it's to draw out the sentences and then you see for yourself how to work out the answer. All right, so I'll give you 10 minutes, all right, and pause the video. And once you have worked out the answer, you can replay the video. All right, so have you worked out the answer already? All right, so let's go through the sentences. Mary has 49 ice cream steaks. Teddy has 298 more ice cream steaks than Mary. Sam has 39 fewer ice cream steaks than Teddy. So you have more than, fewer than comparison model. How many ice cream steaks do they have all together? Okay, so how do we draw out the problem? How do we visualize the problem? All right, now visualize the problem doesn't mean that you see the model in your mind, which is very hard. Visualize the problem means you draw out the problem on the paper, on your, on your, on your exercise paper, and then you see for yourself how the model looks like. So look at the first sentence. Mary has 49 ice cream steaks. So you draw a rectangle for her and you just put 49. All right, that's the first sentence. Teddy has more than Mary. Okay, let me just tidy up a little bit. Let me just make the rectangle for Mary a little shorter, right? Because it's a bit too long. Okay, so Mary has 49 and Teddy has more. Okay, more than Mary, which is, wow, which is quite a lot more. So 298 more than Mary. All right, go on. Sam has 39 fewer than Teddy. So how shall I draw Sam's rectangle? Uh, 39 is smaller than 298. So which means that I have to draw a rectangle for Sam that is something like this. Okay, why? Okay, you will see why. Sam has 39 more than, than who? Than Teddy. So which means that, can you see the 39? Sam has 39 fewer, sorry. Sam has 39 fewer than Teddy. So you can see that 39 is smaller than 238. So what happened? It means that the rectangle for Sam has to be longer than Mary. All right? So why? All right, so you just compare the numbers and you can see, right? If the, if the number is smaller, the 39 few, fewer, if the 39 is fewer or smaller than 298, then you should be drawing a longer rectangle for Sam than Mary. All right? All right, so let's go on. Now, how many ice cream steaks do they have all together? So that's where you put the question mark. Now, if your model is fantastic, then you can just look at the model and use it to work out the answer. So what can we find? We can find Teddy's ice cream steaks. You take 298 and plus 49. And you will get, okay, 298 plus 49, you will get 347. Whatever answers you found, you put inside the rectangle. And how about Sam? Now you can find Sam's ice cream steaks. You take 347, which is Teddy, and you minus 39 right, to get Sam's rectangle, right? And 347 minus 39, and you get 308. So Sam has 308 ice cream steaks. So if you are finding, right, if you are finding the bigger rectangle, or if you are finding the longer rectangle, then what do you do? Then you have to plus, right, add them together, because you're finding the longer rectangle. If you're finding the shorter rectangle, for example, Sam's rectangle, then you just minus, right, 347, and you minus 39 to find the shorter rectangle. All right, same thing. If I want to find Mary's rectangle, I take 347, right, 347, and I minus 298 to get Mary's uh, rectangle. All right? So that is the, the guideline to model drawing. How do you find the longer rectangle? And how do you find the shorter rectangle? All right, so let's go on. So now can we find the total number of ice cream steaks? So you have to add all the numbers in the boxes. All right, why? Why the boxes or why the numbers in the boxes? Because the numbers in the boxes represent their ice cream steaks, not the numbers outside. The numbers outside are more than, fewer than. These are not their actual number of ice cream steaks. So if so, the actual number of ice cream steaks are found where? Are found inside the boxes. Okay? Alright, so let's add the numbers. So you can add Sam, which is 308, 
and then plus 30, 3, 4, 7, and then plus again, 49 for Mary. So add these 3% together, and you will get 704 ice cream steaks all together. And add on to your model by putting the answer beside the question mark. And there you go. All right, you have solved the problem again using comparison model. All right, now, so this is, a, this is quite an important lesson because it is one of the, the foundation lesson for drawing model. So how do you draw comparison model? Right, you draw at two rectangles or maybe three rectangles side by side. And when you draw the rectangles, don't join. All right, do not join the rectangles together. For example, Mary, Teddy, don't join. Don't join the two rectangles together. Because if you join, <coughs> if you join them together, you can't put anything in between the rectangles. Right? It's very hard to put something in between. So don't join, don't join the rectangles together because you will restrict your drawing. All right, so not a good idea to do this. So the better way to do is to separate the rectangles so that you can do things like, like arrow sign. Ah, see, for example, right, if you want to label this, how many is this rectangle, you, can, you have some space to do that. Okay, all right, so hopefully by the end of this lesson, you have a better idea on how to draw comparison model. In the next lesson, we are going to look at how to draw the multiplication model. All right, so uh, have a great week, and I will see you in the next lesson.